Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I'm able to retouch a number of photos or if I told you have around 20 or 30 images but in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating for you using two photos and I want to show you how I'm able to go back and forth between two images but you can follow the same process if I told you have about 40 or 50 images to work on in your project list so this is going to be a tool that is going to help you and also you can follow along and understand how i'm able to retouch and my steps to retouching better and faster within photoshop so if at all you want to learn this this is a tutorial for you and if at all you haven't hit the like button i request that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so just simply hit the like button on this video so right now I'm in Caption, so I use, I tend to use Caption to process the raw files. But I'm just going to choose two random photos from this session. You can see I had around 23 photos from this session. So I'll just choose some random photos, around two random photos from this session. So right now in Caption, what I tend to do, I tend first of all color the images in Capture 1. Then after color grading in Caption, I'm just going to select two the two random photos from uh, this very session and I'm going to export them into Photoshop to, to work on them later. So like I've chosen this photo and I'm also going to choose around I think this photo will work. So I have these two photos so I'll just come to image edit with I'm just going to edit in Photoshop 2020 that's what I use. I go to edit variants and these two images are going to be opened into Photoshop. So what you have to understand always and always first of all color your images so we always want the images to be appealing or appetizing to the eyes before we can even retouch them so when you first of all color grade that it means that you're spicing up your images for the final process which is the cleaning up blemish removal and skin retouching and color grading so always take that into consideration so my images are now open into Photoshop. So basically what I tend to do when I'm retouching a number of photos, like I've chosen these two photos for purposes of demonstration. So the very first thing I'm going to do when it comes to retouching a number of photos is first of all cropping them. But if at all your images are for printing out and maybe putting in a photo book or album, you may not need to crop them. For example, if at all they're event photos. So mine are just for social media so i'll just crop my images this is the first thing i tend to do because these images are for posting on social media and i'll just crop them in a ratio of 45 i'll just crop uh pull this in and hit enter so right now you can see that we have this annoying distraction right here so i'll just come and get my clone stamp tool and with that nice of zero percent i'm just going to increase on the size using the open brackets on the keyboard hold down the option or alternate key on the keyboard and left click to sample a clean area of the backdrop and i'll just paint that and it's going to eliminate that light or soft box and i'll do the same for this other side and i'm going to do the same for this uh curved reflector right here so i'll just copy and paint over it so copying is holding on the option or alternate key on the keyboard and i'll just do that so i tend to remove these uh, distractions first then after i feel like the image is a little bit looking good or better i'll just come straight through the actions and i use my retouching essentials pack to fast and all speed up the process of skin retouching using frequency separation so i'll just come and play my 16-bit action and if at all you're interested in purchasing or buying my retouching essentials pack the link is going to be in the description of this video so simply click on that link and you will be able to, vi to visit my digital store and you can purchase my retouching essentials pack that has all these actions so i'll play my frequency separation action right here that is 16 bit and simply hit the play button so for full body images i tend to use a, a radius of around five and i'm just going to simply hit ok and it's going to automatically create for me the frequency separation layers in this option you can see that the layers are just created 
and that is the importance of using action so i'll delete the black and white layer because i prefer to use the option that will guide me better that is turning off the texture layer and simply selecting the low frequency as well i can deal with only the colors so i'll come under the brushes and right click and get the mr brush tool then if at all you have an older version of photoshop you may find your mr brush tool right in this option so after that i'll set it up first so if at all you you already set up your mr brush tool the settings are always going to exist or be there every single time you open up photoshop so the hardness is going to be zero clean brush is selected then this option which says clean brush after each and every stroke remember we're dealing with different colors in the skin tone is also going to be selected the weight of nine load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so make sure sample order is not checked so with the low frequency layer selected you have to slightly zoom in by pressing ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and as using this technique always remember to retouch at a distance remember if at all you're retouching at a distance it means you're going to be able to cover a bigger area within a short period of time as opposed to zooming all the way in and that is going to require you to recover small or tiny areas remember you have around 50 photos to work on so always retouch at a distance and that is going to help you cover a wider or bigger area within a short period of time so you can see that i've just painted using just two strokes on that area and it has been able to give me the results i want in this area so i'll just work on this second leg right here and you can see it gets the job done quickly as opposed to a uh, retouching when you're really zoomed all the way in so always retouch at a distance and that is going to help you retouch quickly or even faster so just mix colors that are looking alike or similar and you create that nice and smooth transition within those colors in that given area so right now with just a few strokes of the mixer brush tool i've been able to finish retouching you know this may sound funny but just look at this this is the before after before after so right now i'm done retouching this image and what i tend to do i'll come to the high frequency line and do a cleaning up with the clone stamp tool selected with the hardness of zero percent blend mode is normal past and the flat 100 percent and the sample on the current layer i'll zoom into the image by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and i reduce the size of the clone stamp tool by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so that bracket keys are going to either increase or decrease on the size of your clone stamp tool and you remove those skin imperfections or blemishes from skin so you can see that this is a better and more efficient way to retouch a number of images so after i've done this i'll do the same process onto the second Im image so after removing the, the blemishes i can close the group and i come to the second image and i'll do the same process crop it in just like that and simply hit enter then i'll come back and get my clone stamp tool and get rid of this soft box right here in this corner so alternate and copy color from there and simply paint it over the soft box and that is going to eliminate the soft box so don't mind about the wrinkles because we are going to be dealing with those wrinkles later on so after i've cleaned up uh, the image i'm just going to come back and play my frequency passion action right there and i'll go i'm going to use the radius of five and simply hit ok or enter and the action is going to run in the process so i'll come back and delete the black and white layer but if at all you prefer to use it as a guide or whole player you can as well use that as a whole player so i'm just going to hide this and simply select the low frequency layer and come and get the brush the mr brush tool and remember what i just said retouch at a distance i'll do the same for this image and i'll retouch at a distance because i want to recover or to cover a very big area within a short period of time so usually when we have many images to work on we tend not to have that too much time to work on them so we always tend to work at a distance and you can see with just around four strokes of a brush i'm done working on uh, her legs and 
with around six strokes i'll be done doing the skin retouching for this very image so by working at a distance or retouching at a distance you can be able to cover a very big area within a very short period of time and guess what we are done retouching the skin so this is the before after before after so just come to your high frequency line and get the clone stamp tool and now you can clean up or remove the skin imperfections from uh, the skin by using alternate option and left clicking to copy a clean area that is close to the blemish and simply replacing that blemish with that clean skin or clean area so you can see i'm now cleaning up this and i'm done removing the blemishes from uh, the model skin so we are now done retouching our two images so if i told you have like 50 images you can do the same process over and over again and i promise that is going to be a very fast process so after i've done all this the next thing i tend to do is first of all doing a little bit of color grading within photoshop so i'll go to the last image and what i tend to do i come to my brightness and contrast and add some contrast because usually images from capture one tend not to have contrast in them so i'll just add contrast to the image and remember she was putting on black and this black doesn't look real and very natural so i'll come to my selective color adjustment layer and select blacks right here and simply intensify the blacks to darken them and i'll simply cool down the blacks by taking this up around negative six but still it has that kind of cyan cast on them so i'll just come and simply take this up up to an f I feel like the blacks are a little bit more on the natural side then i want to make this a little bit more on the white side so i'll just come and i select the white color so you can see when you check this towards the right hand side it's going to be making the whites more yellowish and this is going to eliminate the yellow color from the white area so by doing these two adjustments i'm just going to select both and group them into or put them in a group and i'll press ctrl command g on the keyboard and I'm going to simply drag and drop this color grading onto the second image and it's going to automatically be color graded. So after I've done that, I do some eye whitening. I'll just come to hue and saturation and simply desaturate the overall image after around negative 90. I press Ctrl Command I on the keyboard and I'll just come to the brushes and get a soft brush. So this amount is the brush tool with the hardness at 0%. Or percent the flutter 100 percent make sure you have black and white or you have white as a foreground by clicking on these two small boxes then you can switch be between black and white by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is on top so you can now zoom into the image by using ctrl or command plus and you can paint in the white area of the eye and that is going to whiten the eyes with just simple painting so i'll just come and create a second hue and saturation and control i and i'll just zoom into the eyes just like that and when i zoom into the eyes i'll drag to the eyes and i'll just paint into the eyes to whiten them so right now i'm done doing even as uh, the eye whitening so i'll just do command z so you can see i'm done even doing the eye whitening so the next thing is going to be cleaning up the backdrop which is the final step for retouching so i'll create a stamp visible layer or a copy of everything i've done beneath the images by pressing shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard if at all you have windows then if at all you're using mac you can use shift option command e on the keyboard and that is going to help you create a stamp visible layer then we are going to come to our brushes and right click and get uh, the mr brush tool and with the mr brush tool selected you can just come and paint and mix the colors within the backdrop to try and get rid or eliminate those folds or wrinkles within as uh, the backdrop so you just paint and mix those wrinkles and they're going to be smoothened out at the end of the process so basically this is what i tend to do so you can as well remove that from this white box that she's seated on by using just the uh the mixer brush tool so after i have cleaned up uh, both the images the next thing that i tend to do is 
using the export as action to save a very sharp and detailed image that won't change in color when i print it out or when i post it on social media and for that i have a dedicated tutorial about how you can create your own export as action so i have my action already created then if at all you're inter interested in that action i'm going to link for you the video right here so that you can create your own export as action so i'll just come and click on the export action and simply play my export action and it's going to export the image within seconds to the designated folder where i want my images to be saved so this is how to retouch a number of photos in photoshop and this has been my workflow for editing a number of photos within photoshop so if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you have found this video really helpful Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.